Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we will be talking about our bullish Cardano. Plus I'm gonna share with you my uh, extra investment that I did in Cardano so you're not gonna just say that hey you just keep thinking and saying it's bullish but actually we're going down. So let's jump to the chart and let's see what's going on. Okay so as we've seen we had a very very necessary correction and we could see this is I'm on a daily chart and if you look on the RSI and we would go a little bit far back if we'll go to February of 2020 we can see that we've been creating this line that I just put it from this uh, this peak to this peak and continue up so here it was showing me that we're probably going to be starting getting a correction and at that point of time I was able to sell a little bit and then I created another buy and order and uh, my plan was that Cardano probably going to be retracing to these areas and possibly to these areas but I was not by the computer I just set my buy and order around this place and you can see why because here we were having some resistance we broke it then when we went, fell below it we had again this area's resistance and plus this is was another area of very strong resistance that you can tell that eventually we finally broke out of it and the bullish uh, why I'm thinking is still bullish because this is was a proper correction just retest our breakout point so we've been stuck in this area and now we just retest it and confirm it as a support because we didn't fell below it we just wig down here and we continue up so I'll show you my uh, trade that I entered uh, you can see here that I entered 12,793 and I purchased a little bit more Cardano for myself as that I will be probably keeping now for the long run uh, sometimes I'm doing this trades uh, if I'm seeing okay it's time for a correction but now I just repurchase some more from what I sold around this area so what's gonna be happening what I'm thinking if we're just gonna look at the four hour, uh, four hour time frame so we did find the support in this area and here we just swig down to it so as long as we stay in above this 12.6 uh, cents we should not be coming back down we can continue if we see that we close in a candle below this area we still might retest this breakout area that I'm talking about at the 11 11.3 cents but I don't see us going any lower than that it wouldn't make any sense because uh, as you see we are creating if we had let's say we can take a low uh, or even this low and say we had a high then we have another higher low and now we printed a much higher high and this is was just another way to how it works we came here to show us another higher low compared to this because if we are going to be falling below the 11.3 and we're going to be printing a, a lower low in the future this is not going to be a good sign but again I don't see this happening and if it is happening for whatever reason this is going to be an amazing buying opportunity uh, for the future so again I'm sharing with you my trade and for now I'm holding it and I'll see what's going to be going on Again, if I see that this is start closing below the 11.4, 11.3, that's where probably going to be my time to get out and looking for lower areas uh, to repurchase. But for now, my plan is to keep holding because this is a much needed correction. We had to see it eventually because this is was just going parabolic in a crazy way. And again, if Cardano just give you an extra chance to enter and buy some more if you have not entered yet if you learn about Cardano just lately and that's the time to buy when everybody's scared just put your buying orders 
at the levels that I said. If we're gonna reach again and see the level of the 11.3 cents, this is, should be another buying order. And at the point at 0.126 cents, that should be another buying order. Again, this is not a financial advice, this is something that I'm doing, but I'm believing these are the good levels to buy, and if we're gonna retest them again, and yeah, you, you, you seen what Cardano can do. And as well, there was other uh, coins that was pumping, but if you are bullish on this project, if you do like it, you see when it starts going up, it's too late. The best time is to buy, it's when we're correcting, we're falling down, it gives you good opportunities because chase the price, this is not a solution. I know when everything is falling down that's a little bit of scary and you think, okay, it's gonna pull more, but that's why you're trying to put this support resistance levels and get an idea, okay, we might reach this point, so I'm gonna put in a buying order at these levels and eventually, we are in a bull market. We are going up and these corrections are normal. So again, if you knew, this is just another opportunity to buy. Because if you were scared at 17 cents and you were thinking, oh, why I didn't buy? This is such a great opportunity. If you believe that 17 cents was a great buying opportunity, then 11, 12 cents, it's amazing buying opportunity. So you definitely should be thinking about jumping on the train because in the future I see it going higher and higher. So thank you Cardano for giving us another chance to get some more. That's all for today. Thank you for so much for jumping and watching our video and we'll see you next time. Adios.